countries are all of you representing? Azerbaijan. In Canada. Brazil. And I'm Belgium. Russia in UNICEF. I'm Panama. I'm Portugal. I am chairing the SOCHEM committee. I'm Kazakhstan. And I'm representing Austria and the European Union. What kind of preparation have you gone through to represent Oman? Preparation? I wouldn't say I got, I've gone through much preparation. Of course, we have to go through the process of uh, writing a position paper and researching our country. But basically, it's, uh, I, it's a, Oman is a country that I like a lot. It is a small country, but it's a country that has a lot to say. And that is very interesting and very present, especially concerning now human rights questions in the Gulf region. And this is uh, basically why I chose this country for, uh, to represent the, for this Ryman. And have you guys done a lot of preparation to get ready for this weekend? Did you guys know a lot about the topic before? Yeah, I had to do some extensive research because the topics we're covering are topics I wasn't really familiar with. We're going to be talking about coastal erosion and burden sharing of uh, carbon emissions. Yeah, I, I didn't know a whole lot, so like doing the position paper really helped to kind of consolidate all the information and like actually learn a lot too, so it was an interesting experience. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hard weekend for us. I hope I hope our friendship makes it through. So whereabouts are you two from? We're from the UK. When did you start working on this project? I was in the team last year, so a year and a half. But this special edition we started end of May. So it's been what, nine or ten months, something like that. Well, we've been preparing for Riemann for about nine months. So it's finally looking perfect. So we're seeing the fruits of our work and it's really great. We're going to see all these people gathered today that come from everywhere more or less on this planet. So it's really great. I'm happy that everybody's having a good time right now. What do you, what appeals to you both in the MUNs? Why is it that you do this? Uh, mostly just the experience. It's just an incredible opportunity. It's a real true insight on how um, international relations work, diplomacy. That's a great chance to get to know other people from all over the world and to discuss very crucial topics and to learn other people's point of views. And so I want to give other people the opportunity to have this experience by organizing Ryman. I just think that we are very lucky to participate in this event. In regards to the crisis committee, which is what I'm doing, obviously, Jordan compared to the United States is really small. But it's not because you're small that you can't have your voice heard. Sometimes it's the smallest players who can have the biggest impact. And this is what I'm going to show tomorrow and Sunday. And this is for the glory of Jordan, and especially because Jordan has the cutest queen in the world, I think. A global issue that I would like to inquire a little more into would be um, coastal erosion. I know it sounds really dumb and really boring, but it's actually all about how you can more or less kill people on small islands, and I find that particularly interesting. We're hosting this event for more than, I think they said, uh, 200 nationalities coming from all over the world, uh, I think which is, which is something incredible. Honestly, it was great, and uh, good work for the letter coming from Ban Ki-moon. Rock on! Woo!